Oh yeah! Give him more guns! That's what he needs. Hey! What's up my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the DNA Design the Studio Series Ironhide Upgrade Kit! So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Ironhide's beautiful little mug here, DK10, Studio Series Ironhide Upgrade Kit, on this side of the box, same thing, on the other side, same thing, up top, same thing, on the bottom, words, things, barcodes. And on the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots, and that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have the upgrade kit for Studio Series Ironhide. So let's go through everything that is included with this package. First thing you get is some brand new feet. You can see pretty much the same feet with some extra little details picked out in paint. We have some new uh, extra moving bits here for transformation, but we'll get to that when we get to that, we also get new guns, done in black and silver with removable knives as well. So we get two of those, and we get a new front bumper for the truck. And you also get tools to remove pins and stuff for said bumper. So without further ado, let's get down to it. So here we have Ironhide, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the feet. So what we need to do is bust out our handy dandy screwdriver, and we're just going to undo this screw here and this screw right there. And once we've removed those two screws, we just remove this section here, and then we just remove the old foot, and we replace it with the new foot. And it should just pop right in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on, buddy. Work with me. Work with me. It's very snug. There we go. So, now that we've done that, we just take the section and put it back on, and we screw! And there he is with his new foot on. So, second verse, just like the first. And there he is with his new feet. And, uh, you know, they give him some ankle tilt now, which is nice. You get a little bit of tiltage, and he gets... One of his toes that move, his heel piece moves as well, but that's more for transformation. But hey, like I said, get some extra little moving parts in here now. There he is. He has new feet. Hooray for feet! So the next step is to swap out the bumper. And uh, the first thing you want to do is we want to take the wheels and just pop them off. Just a clip on wheels. So they just pop right off. So just remove those. This one's a little stiffer. There we go. Pop out the wheels, and they give you this little handy dandy tool here for pushing out the pin, and you want to push it out from this side, and you just get in there, and hopefully this will come out easily, probably not, but we'll see. And, uh, nope, and, uh, uh, nope, I was hoping this would be easy, but turns out, Nope, it's not. It, it It's not. All right, I got it going. I just had to get my uh, my hammer and just give it a couple taps there just to get it started. And there you go. So now we got the pin pushed through like so. So we remove the pin, remove this, remove the bumper, and now we replace it with the new bumper, which... It's funny because it says Roeo armor instead of road armor, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever, whatever. So then we just put the new bumper in place. Make sure everything's lined up, right? Which it is not. I'm not going to see it's not lined up. Wait, 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 wait. Make sure all that's right where it needs to be. 
and I think it is, I hope it is, I think it's in the right spot, I think so, and now we take this pin, this is the pin that actually came with the kit, they give you a pin also, so hey, I'm going to use it, and just get that through, and maybe we'll have to use the old one. Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. And then just try to push that all the way through. Again, hopefully everything's lined up, which I don't think it is. Give me one minute. All right, I got it. That took a little bit of doing, but I got it. So there's a new bumper. There's the old bumper. New bumper. New bumper. Old bumper. Old bumper. New bumper. So there you go. And now that we have them all back together, we can show off what this new bumper does, and it just solves a problem that a lot of people have with the figure, which is just the bumper just kind of hanging out the sides like that, which a lot of people didn't like. But now, with this, you can take these side sections and bring them back, like so. And they, can, they do go back a little bit farther, but I don't think you're supposed to bring them back that far, but you can see. You can bring that back, and that cleans him up a lot better. So, there you have that, and now we can show off his new guns here. We can just plug these in his hands, and just hold them nice and secure-like. So give him some extra armament, as if he didn't already have enough. But there you go. <laughs> He's got his new guns there, which do look pretty cool. And if you want, you can also give him the knives. You can stab, 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 slash, slash, stab, stab, you know, hey, all things you can do if you want to do them. You can also store these weapons on him, and to do so, very snug, and to do so, you just, I need to raise up a little bit, yeah, you just take these sections here, and they will slide over the back panel like that on either side. Like so. Come on. Come on. Come on. Some things are a little snug on this kit, I will say. Come on, man. Come on, man. Work with me. There we go. There you go. Get this way there. There you go. You're going to have the guns stored on his back if you wish. And the instructions also say that you can store the knives on. Uh, on these tabs here on his cannons if you want to hey it's a thing you can do if you want to do it or you can also store them on the side sections here because you can see there are slots on either side and you can take these and just slot them in like so so if you want that going on you can have that going on you have to bring these out just a little bit though yeah you can just Tap them in like that. You can have them at its sides. So hey, all things you can do if you want to do them. So now let's get down to truck mode. And uh, you're really not doing too much different as far as transforming him back into truck mode. You're just going to take these side sections of the front bumper and bring them forward. And then he transforms exactly the same. So now that we're back in truck mode, there are a couple extra steps here in the transformation that involve the back section here to kind of clean things up. And you want to take these heel pieces and they can now fold in like that. These little bits can also fold in and his outer toe can fold in as well. And as you can see, it cleans things up back there. A little bit so his toes just aren't you know hanging out like they were before but other than that there you go now as far as storage for all the new weaponry uh you just take these guns here and they will tab into the back like so and like so and then you take the knives and they just tab in to the sides like that and then you take his cannons, and they will tab in on top of those guns, like so. And, um, yeah, sure, hey, 
It's storage. Why not? Dare I say, why not? So there you have the Studio Series Ironhide Upgrade Kit. Um, you know, it's a nice kit. It does exactly what it sets out to do, and uh, it does make some nice improvements to the figure. So, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. So, there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of DNA Design's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M-Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the DNA Design's Studio Series Ironhide Upgrade Kit. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face.